Good morning, my dear students. I am Muhammad Bahadin, working as an assistant professor in IS Engineering College, which is affiliated to a small university, Hyderabad. So today in these sessions, we are going to learn the fifth problems on the curve beam based on the crane hooks for a trapezoidal section. So this problem is most important according to examination's point of view. A crane hook has a section which for a purpose of analysis is considered is a trapezoidal. The maximum tension and shear stress occur at the point P at the point P. The maximum tensile stress as well as the maximum shear stress is acting at the point of P. So in this problem we need to determine the distance R from the center of curvature to the section A minus of A. Okay section A minus of A. Bending moment for the section A minus of A. The distance from the center of curvature to the neutral axis as well as we need to find out the area as well as we need to find out the maximum tensile stress is acting at a point of P as well as the maximum stress is acting at a point of Q we need to find out. So please observe this figure. This is the crane hook figure. So here at the point P the maximum tensile stress as well as the maximum shear stress is acting at this point P and the maximum compressive force is acting at a point of Q. So this is section A or A we can say that the inner radius is how much is given here. The inner radius is given as 65 is given. Clear? So if you observe this trapezoidal section, this inner width, how much is given this side? This side is how much is given? 90 mm is given. And this the largest width it is represented by B1 and the smaller width it is represented by B equal to 25 mm. This is a C1 and C2. Total height is how much is given? 116 from the larger end to the smaller end. After that how much load is acting on this hook is 90,000 Newton load is acting on this crane hook. So what is our main intention? Our main intention is that we want to find out the area of the trapezoidal section. If you want to find out the area of the trapezoidal section, the B1, the largest section is how much is the breadth? 90 plus the smaller sections of the width is how much is that? 25 mm. 90 plus 25 by 2 and the height is how much is given here? Height is given as 116. Okay, so if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 6670 mm square clear that But our main intention is there we want to find out the BO we want to find out for that is what I'm doing here BI width of the largest section equal to width of the smaller section plus outer width so BI is 90 equal to 25 plus BO is unknown we need to find out 90 minus of 25 then you will get the answer of BO is 65. So table number 1.3a so type in which in, in the trapezoidal sections you will get this formula is C2. So we have the formula C2 is equal to 3B plus 2BO H by 3 2B plus BO. So what is the meaning of? C2, the C2 nothing but the distance from the neutral axis to the inner surface, outer sorry, outer surface equal to 3. Width is how much is given here? Width is given here 25. Plus 2 into BO is given as 65. Into height is given here 116. By 3 into 2 into breadth is how much is given 25. Plus outer breadth is how much is given 65 if you divide this all the value then you will get the answer is 68.93 mm what is our main intention is there our main intention is that we want to find out the distance from the neutral axis to the inner inner surface we need to find out for that is what i'm doing here c1 plus c2 equal to h so c1 is unknown we need to find out h is as it is if it is c2 if it is moved towards this side it become as minus c2 clear so c1 c1 nothing but the distance 
from the nodular axis to the inner surface c1 is equal to h minus of c2 so h is how much is given 116 is given and minus c2 is how much is given 68.93 if you subtract this value then you will get the answer of c1 is 47.07 mm after that our we need to find out the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis we need to find out so r we need to find out r is equal to outer width plus c1 so b o is how much is there say 65 plus c1 is how much is there 47.07 if you add this value then you will get the radius of curvature of this centroidal axis is how much is there 112.07 mm after that after the getting the value of radius of curvature of the centroidal axis we need to find out the bending moment about the centroidal axis we need to find out for that reason we have to use the formula cm is equal to force into perpendicular distance force is how much is acting 90000 newton is acting and the perpendicular distance is how much is there 112.07 if you multiply this value then you will get the answer is 10.086 into 10 power of 6 newton mm so after that our main intention is there we want to find out the distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis we need to find out for that reason e is equal to r what we can say centroidal axis the distance between centroidal axis minus the distance between the neutral axis so for the trapezoidal section we have to use this formula clear r the the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis we have the value is 112.07 minus area how much we got here trapezoidal section 6670 6670 and the b1 how much we got here 90 the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis is 112.07 and the c2 is the the distance from the neutral axis to the outer surface is 68.93 minus width is how much is given 25 r is given as the radius of curvature of the central axis is 112.07 c1 is 47.07 by height is given as 116 same log e we have to substitute this value minus 90 minus 25 then you will get the answer of e is 8.611 mm so this means that the distance between the central axis and the neutral axis we got the answer is 8.611 mm after that our main intention is that we want to find out the maximum bending stress at the inner fiber so instead of sigma i you have to represent sigma b i sigma b i equal to m into c i by a into e into r i so c i we have the formula is neutral axis to the inner surface equal to c1 minus of e c1 is 47.07 minus e is the distance between the central axis and the neutral axis is 8.611 so after that if you subtract this value then you will get the answer ci is 38.45 so after that you need to substitute over here so bending moment value is 10.086 into 10 power of 6 and ci value is 38.45 by area of the trapezoidal sections is 6670 and the distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis we got the answer is how much 8.611 into the inner radius is 65 if you divide this the whole the value with the help of calci then you will get the answer is 103.87 newton per mm square the maximum bending stress at the inner of the fiber the same thing we need to find out the maximum bending stress at the outer fiber we need to find out if you want to find out the maximum bending stress at the outer of the fiber we have to use the formula is sigma o is equal to m into c o by a e into r o for c o we have the formula is c2 plus e so c2 is 68.93 and the is e value is 8.611 if you add this value then you will get the answer is 77.541 so this means that the neutral so neutral axis to the in outer surface we got the answer is 77.541 and the outer radius is equal to ri plus c1 plus c2 so ri is how much is there 65 plus c1 is how much is there 47.07 and c2 is how much is there 68.93 if you add this both the value then you will get the outer radius is 181 so after that sigma o is equal to m into c o by a e into r o so bending moment we have the answer is 10.086 into number of 6 c o 
the distance from the neutral axis to the outer fiber we have the answer is 77.541 and the area of the trapezoidal section is 6670 and e nothing but the distance from the centroid axis to the neutral axis we have the answer is 8.611 into outer radius is 181 so if you divide the whole the value then you will get the answer is 75.23 so the, the unit of maximum bending stress at the outer of the fiber we are getting the answer is 75.23 newton per mm square is in compressive in nature i hope so no one is having the dot regarding this problem if you have the dot regarding this problem please write down in the comment box if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you dear